Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the header builder feature that is available in the Botiga WordPress team. First of all, I would like to say that this feature is available as a module, so you can always activate or deactivate it. To do that, you're going to go to the back end of your website, go to appearance, team dashboard, team features, find the header and footer builders right here, and click on activate or deactivate. Let's go back. Click on Customize. Go here to Header. Click on it. And just click on Header Builder. The first thing we noticed is that we can build our header on three rows. You can see a top row, a main row, and a bottom row. We also have some settings available, like predefined header layouts. Various options for each row, like for the top row right here. You can set the height, the, the number of columns, the columns layout. Of course, the styling. Okay, I can change the background color or add the background image. So the same for all three rows. Of course, I have a set of settings for the mobile header as well. I can enable the transparent header, for example, if I have a header image right here, and I want my header to sit on top of that. And of course I can change the container type, so either full width or contained, like this. I'm just going to leave it at full width for now. I can of course make my header sticky if I need to. Here it is. And I can select the row that needs to be sticky. These are my components. If you're using the free version, you're going to have a number of components. But if you're using the pro version, you're going to have all of our components. There's also the style tab. You can change various settings here regarding the style of the whole header, like the background color or background image. You can adjust the padding as well if you need to. Okay, let's go back. So, right now we have components only on the middle row, which is the main row. Let's add something on the top row as well. See how that works. So, here it is. You can see the contact info. I can just click on it. And I'm going to access the settings for this specific component. So, I can change it as I need. Okay, I can toggle its visibility for each device, so for desktop I can show it visible, but maybe I want to hide it on tablets and mobiles, like this. I can uh, display it in line, so in a single row like this, and of course I can adjust its colors. This is, these options are specific for, uh, for this component. So I can change the color for the icons, or the text if I need to, something like this. I can also change it if my header is sticky, the color is specific for, for the sticky state. Okay, so I can do this for all components. If you click on the cog uh, icon right here, you're going to be taken to, to the options specific to that component. So you can see they're different, obviously. These, for example, are the menu options. You have a quick link that you can click on to be taken to the menu settings. You can also change the visibility device-based, like before. And of course, you can change the styling for for the links, for the sub-menu, for the background. Also, specific um, colors for when the menu is sticky. And of course, you can adjust the padding. The search component obviously has its own settings as well. You can change the icon. You can upload an icon if you need to. You just click here if you need a custom icon and upload your icon here. And you have various other settings like you can toggle a drop down for your product categories. You can change the styling of course for every element. Like the form itself, the border for the inputs, the radius, colors, everything. Okay, let's see the WooCommerce icons. So you can change your icon for the cart, for the account, 
or for the wishlist if you're using our uh, our wishlist module you can of course enable or disable the cart and account icons or adjust the styling there are other components available let's add something on the bell on the bottom row now let's say an html right here so you can add any html you need something like this and here it is you can add a new one here you can of course just click here on the position you want on the area you want and just select one of the available components let's say i want to add some social links here so i'm just going to add them one by one let's say facebook Here is the Facebook icon. So you just add the link you want to the social network you need, and the team uh, automatically adds the proper the proper icon for it, like this. Let's see what the styling options are available here. So just some uh, some colors for the icons, both in normal state and hover state. Also the padding. Okay. Now let's say this doesn't look great here. Let's align it to the to the right. So I'm just going to click on the option for this specific column right here. I can also access it by clicking here. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to change the horizontal alignment. You see, as you can see I have plenty of options here: vertical alignment, inner elements layout, like stack for example. But doesn't really matter because I have a single component here. So what I was saying, I want to change the horizontal alignment. So I'm just going to click on end here, and you can see my uh, my component aligns at the end of the column. Okay, I can also change the styling for this specific color. So I can set a padding or some margin. Okay, now let's check some of, of the row features. Let's say I want to go to this bottom row right here with my HTML component and my social component. So I'm just going to go here, click on bottom row. And you can see I can change the height, what I've shown you earlier. Height, columns, column layout. Access, I can access each of the columns that are available in this row. Okay. Now, I just need two columns so I can set it like this. I am going to have to add my social... Uh, my social component again because uh, I've set it to two columns so my social component was in the third column which got removed so I'm just going to add it again here there it is again I'm going to go to the column section uh, to the column settings sorry and change the horizontal alignment and now back to the row settings so I'm going to go to, no, first I'm going to do, decrease the height, because I don't need it to be so tall, so I'm just going to set it to 40 pixels. Of course I can go and change it for each device. Now I'm going to go to styling and just edit some, a bit of background like this. I can do this for all rows, like for the, for the top row for example. Just add some color like this. Change the height. Now for the main row, you can just add a color. Same way. Now let's go and change the color for each component. So for example, right here we can remove the we can remove the logo. Now let's go to the menu, also set it to white, like this, and let the icons, also set this to white as well. So just like that I can change the, any kind of st styling for, for each of the rows, you just change the row, color, you change the 
icon color, you change the text color, everything that you have in the specific row. Let's go for this row as well, so we can have them all done. Let's say something like this. We're going to go to this HTML component. Sorry, just need to remove this. And also now to the social component, change the color for the icons. So you can see it's white. You can change the hover color as well, something like this. You can't really see it because it's very small, but you can see a bit how the color changes to red. Okay, so that's about it about uh, regarding the the header on desktop. Let's go to tablet and mobile. So you can see we have the off canvas area here, which is this. And again, we have three rows, three specific rows just for for mobiles. So we have uh, the top row, which is empty. We have the main row, and we have the bottom row. So. First of all, we notice that uh, there's a new component here, the menu toggle. We need to make it white as well. So I'm just going to go here. I can change the icon. Okay. I'm going to go to style, change this color to white. Of course, I can change the margin. Let's say, for example, if I want to add some bigger spacing. I'm just going to make sure this is unchecked here. And let's say for left, I'm just going to go like this to space it out a bit from, from the other icons. Okay, let's go back. So now the off canvas menu. This is the off canvas, off -canvas area. This is the off canvas uh, component, which is basically a menu. Let's open it. So you can see I can change uh, various things. I can add a separator between the links. Let's do that now. Let's open the menu again. So here it is, you can see the separator. I can change the size of the separator, like this. You can go to, to styling and change its color. Also other uh, I can change the text color, for example, like this. Okay, padding and uh, margin, you've seen this, uh, these two options all around. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so, I can add something else to, to my off canvas area. For example, I can add a button if I want to. This is my button. You can change its text, link, you can add a class if you need to, to target it in CSS or in something else. You can of course make it open in a new tab and there's also the styling, uh, the styling tab where you can change the color if you need. Also for the border. Hover color if you need to. Padding of course. Okay, so the rest of the mobile menu is the it's the same thing as uh, as for the desktop. You can just add components to the three available rows. I can of course add my contact info here if I want to. It's the same one from uh, the desktop mode, so I have to make it visible because uh, I've made it hidden. So you can see how it needs some space to properly fit. So let's go to the top row. Go to general, set it to two columns, and now it fits better. Let's uh, make it like this. Of course, if I don't need two columns, I can just add a single column, doesn't really matter. Okay, let's uh, center it. We're going to go to the column options, select center here. Now let's add something to the bottom row. We're just going to drag these options, these components, sorry. So, 
So yeah, actually we're going to have a single column here as well. We're going to move this here. Go to the bottom row options. Select single column. Okay. Now let's go to the column options. Align this as well. Back to the row options. Change the height. And here it is. Or yeah, you can make any kind of changes. When, for example, I can put my WooCommerce icons back to the middle row, to the main row that is, and leave the menu toggle here. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is uh, right here, you can click on this to access the general options at any time for the header builder. And you can click on the hide button to to hide this, uh, to hide the header builder panel. So you can see a bigger area of your, of your screen. You can of course always click on show to display it again. And that's it. Thank you for watching.